This year, it's the 75th birthday of one of the biggest names in music technology. AKG are known throughout the studio world for their headphones and their microphones. And in this video, we're looking at perhaps the most popular AKG microphone of all. The AKG C414 has been in continuous production for more than 50 years. And there's a lot of myths floating around about all the different versions, but you don't often get the chance to hear them side by side. So we've got together four models of this classic mic, and we're going to be recording the same track with each of them. I'm Sam Ingalls, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Sound on Sound magazine, and we're here at Half Ton Studios near Cambridge. I've written a little song about the C414, and we're going to use the ones we have here to record every single part, starting with this one. This is an early version from the 1970s called the C414EB. And what makes this version special is that it used the same capsule as AKG's classic C12 valve mic. That capsule is called the CK12, and it's sometimes known as the brass ring capsule because it's held together by a brass ring around the outside. So Neil's going to get behind the drum kit, and we're going to track his performance four times using our 414s as overheads set to the cardioid polar pattern. We're going to record all the 414s through an API 3124 mic preamp, and once we've got a take using the EBs, we're going to swap these out for the other 414s and do exactly the same thing three more times. The CK12 capsule in the C414EB was great, but it was really difficult to make. And eventually AKG replaced it with a different one. You can tell these capsules apart because the ring around the outside is made of white plastic rather than brass in the new one. And it sounds different. This version of the C414 used the newer capsule. It was called the C414BULS and the UL apparently stands for Ultra Linear, it was designed to sound as neutral and pure as possible. And for the next stage in our comparison, we're going to be doing some reamping. I've recorded DI'd electric guitar and bass parts, and we're going to play those out through a radial reamp box and record them through all four C414s in turn. Now, one thing that helped make the C414 popular is these switches, and we're going to be using both of them here, this one is a pad which reduces the sensitivity by 10 or 20 dB, so you can record loud sources without the mic crapping out. And the other one is a low cut filter, which is useful when you're putting the mics right up on the source and you want to stop things getting too boomy. So we're going to be using the pads on both amps and the filter on the guitar amp.
And so we come to the 414s you can buy now, and they have incredibly impressive specifications. For example, the original C414EB had a self noise of 17 dBA, and the new XLS has only 6 dBA of noise, which makes it one of the quietest mics you can buy. It has nine polar patterns in place of four, and instead of those fiddly switches that break if you look at them, it has a neat little selector with LEDs that light up to tell you what pattern you've chosen. And unlike the older 414s, it's a transformerless mic. So next up, I'm going to attempt to play the acoustic guitar. And rather than try to play the same part four times, we're going to capture a single performance using all four 414s at once. Of course, they can't all be in exactly the same place, so there will be a small amount of variation because of mic position. But one of the great things about the 414 is that as large diaphragm mics go, it's quite compact. So if we're a bit creative with mounting, we can get all four of these quite close together. And then I only have to get the chords right once. Because this is quite a busy track, I don't want a ton of low end from the acoustic guitar. So what I'm gonna do is set all the mics to Omni to eliminate any proximity effect. The last of our 414s is also a current model, and it's called the C414XL2. Why are there two? Well, like the old BULS, the XLS is designed to be as clean and neutral and flat as possible. But the original C414EB didn't really do that. That was a mic that had a character. It was a character that a lot of people liked. And so AKG introduced a second version of the current 414, which is designed to have that same desirable sonic character you got from the original EB, but without sacrificing low noise and all the other advantages of the newer design. So the most important source in any song is the vocals. And we're going to be recording both male and female voices, thanks to the very talented Robin Phillips and Naomi Randall. Once again, we're going to be using all four 414s together to capture a single performance. And this time around, they're all going to be in the cardioid pattern. 414 is the magic number, XL or EB. You say condenser, I say capacitor. Some people say C414. Vier eins vier oder Ketzon Ketos or CDXRV. Four one four is the magic number X L or E B. You say condenser, I say capacitor. Some people say C four fourteen. Wir eins wir oder cats on cats O C D X I V While we're here, it turns out the studio had the piano tuned specially, and Robin's a very good piano player, so we thought why not see how the 414s sound on piano?
Last of all, we found a big box of percussion and we let Naomi loose on it. So we've got everything in one Pro Tools session and it's time to listen to the results. We've already heard how the four different 414s sound on the individual sources. Those differences can be quite subtle in isolation, but how do they add up when we use the same mic across all the instruments and vocals in the mix? We're going to do a simple mix so you can hear how the entire track sounds with each different model. We're going to play back the whole song four times. You'll hear just a straightforward mix with minimal processing, and the only thing that will change between each one is that each one will use only one type of C414 to record all the sources. See what you reckon. Thanks for watching. 
If you like what you've heard, head to the SOS website at the link below. AKG have very kindly supplied us with a matched pair of new C414s that we're giving away as a competition prize. So happy birthday, AKG, and here's to another 75 years. See you soon.